if I do this, I actually become Harold's testicles. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on my beautiful governors? Welcome to a new Rise of Kingdoms video. Yesterday we created a pool and you guys voted most for Harold Sigurdsson. It was about commander reviews and there it is. We will divide this video into a few parts. First, we are going to talk about, briefly talk about his skills, then his minimum investment, his best payer, best equipment, his cheap alternative if there is any, and then we will give him a rating for free to plays or low spenders. Without further ado, let's go. As you guys can see, my Herald is maxed his expertise and he's only level 40. We will get into that into pairing section. I've been using him for a while with Alexander first and expertise Alexander. I don't have Pakal. I'm a super low spender, so I don't have access to Pakal yet. Let's talk about Herald's skills. <laughs> Now, the brief summary of the skill is, if you are fighting 1v1 or if you are not surrounded, you are going to deal 1200 damage and you are going to increase the damage bonus 20% for 2 seconds. And if you are surrounded up to 3 targets, then you are going to deal like an AoE type of damage, you are going to hit all these 3 targets with 1500 but damage will be reduced. I think his first skill is amazing. His second skill is about rally so we don't care about that and his third one is the tricky one if you can fully stack this skill you are going to get 75 percent more attack but you will lose 75 percent defense like this guy is all about attack 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 if someone would ask me would you like to sacrifice 75 percent defense for 75 percent attack i will say hell no but for herald the answer is a bit different Let's talk about his fourth skill. So when your troops are on the map and using their normal attacks, this commander has 20% chance to cast their active skill and grant their troops immunity to all defense reduction for 3 seconds. This skill can trigger every 5 seconds. So not only this skill makes you proc your first skill back to back to back to back, sometimes like you're gonna see like there are axes all over the place, but it also makes you immune to all defense reduction for 3 seconds. But this doesn't mean, let's say this skill started stacking and you get up to 25% attack and you reduced your defense 25%. And when this skill activates, when it grants you defense reduction immunity, this doesn't mean that it will delete your 25% defense reduction. Like you already have that. So this skill cannot delete the defense reduction that is already applied to your Herald, but it will stop the defense reduction for 3 seconds and this means while your troops are only at 25% defense reduction for 3 seconds you will keep stacking your attack so this is actually super nice and his expertise is counter attack damage on the map increased by 20% if surrounded damage dealt will be further increased 2% per enemy that is surrounding you and upper limit is 10 but if you get surrounded by 10 people like you're just gonna go down in seconds so try not to get surrounded by 10 people now when it comes to minimum investment for Herald, like he's not like Saladin, Leonidas, I don't know, William, you have to expertise this guy. Because even though this guy is super squishy, I mean he don't have any defense, plus he actually reduces his defense, the beauty of Herald is punishing the enemy when he's surrounded. So even though he's squishy, he deals so much damage to people who's attacking him. And the counter-attack damage is one of the main reasons why he deals so much damage to the attackers. So you kind of have to max this guy about what you can do until you can max him. First, you can unlock every single skill, so get him to 1-1-1-1. One, 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 one. And then you can try your luck and try to skip the second skill, which is all about rallies. But if you couldn't get it, I don't recommend you to waste your skill resets on Herald because eventually you definitely want to max him. For example, for Guan Yu, if you can get him to 5155, he's perfect, you don't need his expertise and you can spend your skill resets. But Herald, no, you have to expertise him because this skill, Valhalla, is what makes him so good against Worms. When it comes to best pairs for Herald Sigurdsson, I quickly want to talk about his level. My Herald is at level 40 and I don't plan to upgrade him any further. And this is why I recommend you guys to do, because Herald is amazing as a secondary. I don't really like him as a primary, even though it says after he uses his first skill, he's going to increase the damage for two seconds. So you may think like if he's primary, he's going to increase the skill damage of his secondary. But no, that's not the case. Herald is not good enough to be a primary. 
And another reason is, there is a 20% chance that you can actually proc your first skill before your primary commander uses his active skill, so you can still boost the skill damage of the other commander in your march. I don't recommend you to waste your gold star, waste your experience books. Herald at level 40, expertise perfect. Now, his best players, in my opinion, are... Obviously, that's what I'm using, Alexander and Herald. There are many reasons for that, but the first one is... Alexander is so versatile and he is one of the first commanders that you guys should focus. So you need a commander to get the best out of Alexander and Harold is perfect for doing that. I mean, you will most likely invest on this guy anyway. And you are going to use him for YSG a little while. And then maybe secondary to your Guan Yu. But once you get Leonidas, if you decided to go for him, then your Alex needs to be paired with someone else and Harold is just perfect for that. Alexander has shield, a bit of tankiness, but the thing is he got procable direct damage and this actually can line up with Harold's active skill which increases the damage for 20%. So there is another synergy between Alexander and Harold. Also crazy march speed from Alexander. I love this pair. I definitely recommend this pair. Another one is Charles and Harold, but the problem with this pair is like this is just too much counter attack damage. So if you don't get focused, if you don't get attacked, you actually won't deal much damage. Because Alex and Harold can deal so much damage when they are left alone. But Charles and Harold, yes, they are better when they are attacked. But if you don't get focused, you don't deal much damage. Because your damage is not skill damage, it's mainly counter-attack damage. So Charles Harold, not a bad pair to utilize your Charles. Because, you know, Charles is completely free. And you will max him from the gold keys eventually. If you want to utilize him, yes, you can pay your charge with a Herald secondary. And the last one is Pakal. This guy is crazy with Herald. He also increases the counter-attack damage, takes 5% less damage from all sources for 3 seconds after using an active skill. So it says it can basically get activated when Herald uses his this skill, 4th skill, 20% chance to proc his primary skill again. So there is a great synergy between Pakal and Herald, and not only that, further reduces the all damage taken when surrounded, and like, Pakal and Herald is just the perfect pair, they work so good together, I don't know, like, if one of the next infantry commanders works so good with Alexander, I might actually go for Pakal, and pair Pakal with Herald, and new infantry commander with Alexander, but of course, we need gold heads for that, and... As you can see, we only have 250, it's not much. So that is a long project. For now, I'm using Alexander with Herald. I don't plan to invest on Pakal, but this might change depending on the new infantry commanders. Now, his equipment, ignore the accessories. Other than that, this is perfect for Herald. What you can do is to further upgrade this, you can get the KVK helm. But the only crucial thing is, with Herald, you don't want to use Karax Humility. You actually want to use an Eternal Light. You probably guessed the reason, Herald reduces his own defense and to mitigate that defense reduction it's much better to use an eternal light instead of karak's humility but other than herald karak's humility is amazing i love this item value for money on this item is super nice so if you're using herald you have to go for an eternal light if not you can use karak's humility but as i said other than that a hope cloak two pieces from the set KVK weapon, KVK helm would be the perfect choices. Or you can even go for a set helm and set weapon for 4 pieces. And 4 pieces will give you extra 10% march speed. I mean you don't actually need that when you pair him with Alexander because Alex is already super fast. But if you pair him with Pakal, that march speed bonus might actually help a lot. But if you're looking for a budget option, I think this is just perfect. I just need the set helm and either the set gloves or set boots for my Herald to get the 2 pieces from the set bonus. Hope cloak. Eternal Knight and Gatekeeper Shield is actually an amazing item just like Karax Humility, a great value for money item. So something like this, boom, get rid of this, or the boots, it doesn't matter, they give the same stats. Yeah, this would be my perfect uh, budget Herald equipment, but of course until you can get these, uh, just like what I'm doing, you can use epics you can use even blue pieces because epic chest and epic helm from infantry gives attack and we already have so much attack with herald we don't need that attack so be better off more defensive stats there should be a talent build on your screen right now i mean obviously my herald is level 40 he's not a primary so this is not my talent build i got it from an infantry discord but if for some reason you want to use herald as a primary 
here is a good talent build. Now, when it comes to his cheap alternative, Herald is so special because he got so much counter attack damage, plus he got so much skill damage. But in my opinion, when I look at Herald pairings, the more important thing about Herald is his counter attack damage. So my cheap alternative would be CPO. Charles CPO, I'm not sure about Alex CPO, but Pakal CPO would work. Of course, not like Herald, but this guy could be a replacement, a temporary replacement for your Herald. It is actually super tanky, gives you a lot of counter attack damage, increases your troop capacity and this guy is an epic so you can easily max him just in a few months until you can get your hands on herald and max him i think your best cheap option like it has to be cpo my rating for herald when it comes to free to plays or low spenders i think i will definitely give him a solid 4.5 out of 5 because he deals so much damage he is the perfect player for alexander at the moment in my opinion the reason why i gave him a 4.5 instead of 5 out of 5 it's because this guy has to be expertise and expertising a commander is not that easy it actually takes quite a lot for a free to play or a low spender to max out a commander so that's why i gave him a 4.5 instead of 5 out of 5 hope you guys liked it hope you guys found it useful and informative and if you did a simple like and subscribe only takes one second but helps the channel a lot thank you so much for watching i see you guys on the next one bye